Welcome back, guys. Uh, coming up tonight, we got a new product in. It is CMMG 22 Long Rifle Conversion Kit for the AR platform. So, uh, at this point in time, we all know the ammo may not be as, as, in as big a shortage as it was before, but it's still pretty daggum expensive to shoot. Uh, cheapest I'm seeing somewhere around 40 cents an am, uh, uh, around for brass for, for 5.56. Five, um, and whereas you can shoot 22 uh, for hell, two, three, four, maybe six, seven. Just depends on what you're getting. Uh, so anyway, I went ahead and ordered this. It was 100 and I think 146 on uh, Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, that is a subscription service, but they do have a whole bunch of good, cool stuff there. Uh, and you get some really decent pricing out of that, that too. Uh, it is 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night here. Uh, new job, new nine to five. It's kind of Jacob putting a little bit of a damper on the uh, ability to film. Father-in-law's down in town. The wife had some surgery uh, over the past day or so. So that's also putting a little damper on it too. But uh, I'm going to film this in a couple of different steps. Uh, this one tonight is just going to be kind of the unboxing, what comes in the, the actual kit itself. Um, and then probably the next day, two days, somewhere in that general vicinity, we'll get it out and actually fire it. Um, this kit was appealing because it actually comes with mags as well. So uh, this one is, is just a drop-in bolt carrier group and <clears throat> a, a magazine to, you know, to just go with it. Let's cut her up and see what we got here. All right. So bolt carrier group, uh, we're not going to do anything with it until I get some oil on it. Uh, but Obviously, we understand what this is. We all know what it is. Take the cap off. This is the front side right here where your 22 is going to sit. Your pin's back here. Boop, boop, boop. Pin's going to hit. Rimfire. Uh, we're going to put the cap back on. Like I said, I'm going to oil this up before we actually stick it in the gun. And that way, uh, we have a little protection once it gets in there. Uh, we all know that 22 ammo is it's nasty. It's not going to shoot as clean as the brass that we're firing out of the top 5, 6, 2, 2, 3, whatever the case may be. Magazine. These were intriguing to me. They were two different specs. Cal compliant and real. Uh, so I obviously went with real. Let's see what they look like. Okay. So they sit and ride just like normal, everyday 22 long rifle wood. Uh, this is a 25 round magazine. Uh, there are three of them that come in the kit. Like I said, I think it was $146. It was $164. Who knows? Hell, maybe I'm dyslexic, but... Uh, nonetheless, it was less than 200 bucks by quite a bit uh, for three 25 round mags and the actual conversion. It says that it's a complete drop in conversion. Uh, nothing else to change other than the mags and the bulk carrier group. And installation instructions. We know it doesn't include break open, bolt carry group out of the 556, check the bore, uh, charge and handle approximately halfway out, insert the conversion kit, upper receiver, so you keep the charging kit as well, close the receivers, insert the takedown pin, hand cycle the action just to make sure, and excuse me, fire two hearts content. Another good uh, thing about CMMG is they come with a limited lifetime warranty. Um, well, it doesn't say limited, it just says it's a lifetime warranty. Uh, oh, it says it's a limited warranty. But anyway, nonetheless, uh, everything that I read online and, and from what I talk to with people, they all say that this stuff is, is the real deal. So uh, two and 
bag three. So, like I say, 75 rounds of bang bang. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, this will just be the first piece of the video when uh, I can actually get the rifle out. Get the uh, new 22 volt carry group oiled up a little bit. Get it inside the rifle. Let's see what, uh, let's see if it's really all worth the fuss. Uh, it's actually good for keeping with your particular platform. So, if whatever attachments, furniture, whatever you got on your rifle, you can shoot with in 22. And like I said, save some money in the process. Not going to get the same recoil, but I mean, hell, there's no recoil on a 556 anyway. So, 22, 556, 6 one, half another. Uh, I cannot remember if my barrel on my little cheap upper, uh, I've got a cheap little PSA upper. I think I gave 250 bucks for it two years ago. I can't remember if it's threaded or not, but if it is, I, I do have a little can. Uh, you guys will see a um, video, uh, uh, just a, a quality video on it. Um, it's just a review video. Uh, Hydra, awesome company. CGS, they, the, the thing's been great. We've had a couple of small hiccups. They've taken care of it every single time. Been wonderful. So uh, anyway, uh, I will check the barrel once I get the rifle out and make sure and see if it's threaded. If it is, we'll thread the can on and we'll go to quiet plink plink. If not, uh, like I said, it's a 22. We'll just go out there and shoot it the way it is. Uh, I've got a little cheap red dot on top of it hasn't been sighted in so maybe well i don't want to fire it without firing it with you guys first so uh if we're off we're off but uh nonetheless we'll give it a shot all right guys welcome back so uh we're rolling with cmmg parts and pieces here uh, of course we know we have the bolt or the bolt carrier group uh, this is going to slide into the rifle the mag, and now the magazine is a 25 round mag. I'm going to load a couple in here just to make sure that everything works and it sits flush. Uh, and it appears that it does. Sits well. There's three in. Three in. Works. Looks good. Uh, so there's uh, some of our favorite stuff here. Some shooter glue. And what we're going to do is take our BCG and we're going to run some oil right on where we're moving. So you have a spring up top. So this is your inside facing forward. This is a spring up top where everything's moving really. We're going to put a little dab of oil on top, top, bottom, bottom, a little bit of uh, those and we're going to get a little bit of movement out of that just to make sure that it looks like it's going to stay straight. Let's see. A little bit here. A little bit here. A little bit here. You guys, I can't recommend this stuff enough. Uh, that shooter's loop is some great, great stuff. Rolled around the top. The action is definitely moving quite a bit easier. We're going to flip it over and run the bottom side. Roll this down the skins here. Roll this across. Take a little bit more to the bottom. A little bit. To the bottom. There we go. A little bit across here. There we go. We'll just spread it across here, make it a little bit easier to roll. And throw a little bit up top. All right. A lot, lot easier movement. All right. Set this down to the side real quick. Simple, simple, simple AR platform. Uh, this AR is nothing. I mean, this is a parts gun, really, is basically what it is. There's nothing to this at all. There's but 
$230 upper and uh, D mill lower and just some basic, basic stuff on here. Uh, the red dot is a knockoff of an old Tritricon design. I think I, honest to God, got it off a of wish three or four years ago. This thing runs well. The, the, the AR is great. It runs great. So we're going to take our takedown pin out. We're going to roll our action forward. We are going to pull our charging handle, which brings up our bolt carrier group. We're just going to take this off to the side and set it out of the way. We're going to take our BCG here. We're going to pull our charging handle up enough to slide that in. And we're going to set that down. We're just going to make sure that it locks in place. We're going to roll this back. Set it down, close our pin, and we're going to wrap our action with the down. And that's all she does. All right, fire forward, fires. Looks great. This thing actually sits well. It seems to run pretty decent. That's all we need out of it to go about that far. Uh, we're gonna grab, take the mag. We're going to unload. One, two, three. Charge is up. Let's do this. Go. And we're caught on the mag because the, the way these mags work, they're going to catch every time you come across. So drop your Jesus Christ. It's much easier to do without looking at it. So this is it's rolling, and that puppy is working well. Next beast that we'll see, uh, I will try to get a few angles. Uh, of the first fire. Uh, we've got a new camera. That's what we're working off of right now. Uh, try to work some head cam. I don't really care how stupid I look anymore. It doesn't make any difference to me. Uh, some of the footage that comes out is actually pretty good though. So uh, I'm going to try to grab some head cam and then with this one we'll grab some side view. Try to maybe get uh, a little up close with uh, some hit. I know that our red dot is way, way, way off, uh, but maybe we can get something out of it. Nonetheless, appreciate you guys hanging in. All right, guys, here we go. We got a uh, single mag loaded with regular 22 ammo, just regular 22 long rifle. Uh, we do have a optic on this thing, and it's old and doesn't function properly but we're going to give this a shot anyway just see how she goes now bear in mind we're running our little hydra That's that mag. Let's clear the last one. And now we have the whoop, there we go, subsonics. Now the subsonics should run, should run. Uh, whether or not they will, I don't know, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's run the subs and see how it goes. There 
it goes. Make sure we're tight. And let's run them out. Are we through? No. We are. We're done. Ooh, we got a stove pipe in there. It's extra two of them. Well, so anyway, I'm gonna take some clear in here. Got that one. See if we can get that to pull and it did so all in all i mean listen it's 22 it's going to be a little bit messy we all kind of understand that just from the nature of what it is uh, see if we can get this last one to cycle uh, it's going to be dirty and of course you're going to have to clean your ar a little bit more than usual but uh, from what i can tell and what i see Everything looks great with it. CMMG did a wonderful job. Uh, man, I'm telling you, I, I really appreciate the workmanship and it looks like we've got a great product here. So, uh, have anything else guys? Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know if there's something else you wanna see. Have a great one.